Good morning, Pastor Kurt here, and we're on day three in our Seven Words devotional book, and I want to really encourage you, get this book, go through all the devotions, but I'm going to interrupt our regularly scheduled devotion time this morning and do something, well, on Las Vegas. Tragic day for America, and uh, it's a day when many people are on Facebook and Twitter, and they're saying, we're praying for Las Vegas. That's a good thing. You know, Jesus prayed a lot. Before he took his speaking tour around Galilee, the Bible says he prayed. Before he walked on the water, he prayed. Before he taught the disciples how to pray, Jesus prayed. And did you know that Jesus spent an entire night in prayer before he picked the apostles? Jesus really prayed a lot. But here's one thing you know. Whenever Jesus prayed, it always led to action. When Jesus picked the disciples, it says in Luke 6, that one day soon after Jesus went up on the mountain to pray, and he prayed to God all night. At daybreak, he called together all of his disciples, and he chose 12 of them to be the apostles. Man, if I prayed all night, I'd probably take a little nap before I took action. But the second Jesus got done praying, he made a decision and he took action. I'm hoping you're praying for Las Vegas. I know I am. And I'm praying for all the hurricane victims, Puerto Rico and Houston and Florida. But I want to be more than a person who just prays. I want my prayer to move me to action. What should you do? Well, it could be as easy as going on to bloodsource.com and donating blood for the victims. And it could be as complicated as finding someone here who's been through a tragedy. Maybe they've been through a personal crisis and loving on them, giving to them, just finding that individual. Or here's a challenging one. Maybe you would pray so much that you'd actually love someone you totally disagree with. Someone who's on the opposite end of the issues from you. Someone who doesn't think the way you think. And you'd take this divisive culture we have and make your life an answer to prayer by loving them. You know, Jesus, he prayed one prayer. He prayed it on the Mount of Olives and he said, not my will be done, but yours, Father. And then he got up from that place and he died for you and me. My friends, we need to be a people of prayer, but that prayer needs to lead us to sacrifice and compassion and action. Would you spend some time praying today and then take action as you walk through the rest of your day? 